Okay, Leo, it is the month of August and it is your world. And we are all, sorry about that, we are all living in it. This month starts off with a spectacular new moon in your sign that I am telling you, you've got to use to your advantage. This new moon, Leo, it's at 12 and a half degrees, so right in the middle of the sign, and it is making a beautiful, stunning sextile to the planet Jupiter, which is support. And Jupiter is in your 11th house of hopes, wishes, and dreams, your 11th house of alliances and friendships. So anything new that you initiate for your own personal development that is in the support and alignment of your goals, your dreams, or where you solicit the help of a friend or a, a connection in your network, it will succeed. It will. Trust it, have faith, do it, don't delay. There's going to be some reevaluating things later on in the month, but I will get to that. So then on August 5th, Mercury turns retrograde. And Mercury will begin its retrograde in your second house of earned income. And Mercury stays retrograde here from August 5th until the 14th. And while Mercury is retrograde there, you might be rethinking your budget, taking another look at your expenses against your income, fixing what's broken. And that's a smart thing to do during that time period. But then after August 14th, Mercury goes retrograde in Leo in your sign and the rest of the mercury retrograde from august 14th until the 29th when he goes direct is in your sign so now you're actually second guessing yourself a little bit you're second guessing your plans your ideas this may also turn into a very difficult time for you in relationship dynamics because you are trying to communicate your ideas and your thoughts and they're not being well received by others. They might not even be understood by others. So that can be very frustrating if that is happening to you. And what is amplifying this is that on August 25th, there will be a full moon in Aquarius, which falls in your seventh house of partnership. And this particular full moon is not exactly very well supported. It is making an exact square to Uranus at the top of your chart. And that's your 10th house of career. So I do feel that there could be an ending in a relationship that is business oriented. So this could be losing a client, a business partner, a business opportunity, or having a transition, a turning point, because you're trying to communicate information and somebody's not listening. So, you know, it's not clicking. There is a disconnect here. And so because of that disconnect, you may decide to part ways and go in a different direction. And it could be a little sudden. It might even be a little dramatic and volatile, but it will ultimately be for the best. Now, this could be about your personal relationship if you're married or in a, a commitment with somebody. But I, I think it's more directly related to career matters for most Leos out there. However, if it is involving your personal spouse or partner, it is probably related to a career issue, something with uh, you guys are arguing about life direction or a career. There's like a lack of support kind of an energy. So you're working through a lot. Now, remember, at the beginning of the month, you're beginning something new that's very dear to your heart. And you might be in a position, Leo, later on in the month where you have to push through with this despite feeling like you don't have a lot of support from other people. If this is something that you really want to do, you have to believe in yourself and you have to do it. And you'll see that as Mercury goes direct later in the month, it will sort itself out. It will. Okay, so hang in there. I know that it could turn into a bit of a complicated month for you in that area, but those are your highlights, Leo. There is an amazing new beginning. Life is never easy, but when we want something bad enough, it's always worth it, right? It's always worth it, the work that we have to do. And so that's the position that you're in in the month of August. Have a great birthday, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.